confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. So what is up YouTube, Wyatt Finn back again with another video, and today's video is kind of like a new series on my channel. So I know like everyone does like, like news or whatever, now this is news, but it's not going to be called news, like kind of like how Brandon has WB News and how Malcolm has um, Talk Malcolm Talk. This is going to be talk called Wyatt Talks Wrestling, and this is episode one. So I have like four different stories, four or five different stories to talk about today. So let's get started. So the first one is that Dixie Carter, yes, Dixie Carter, the former president of Impact Wrestling or TNA, is going to appeal on a WB Network 24 episode about Cold Angle. So this actually broke news yesterday on WB.com. There was a banner on the top of the screen and it said um, Dixie Carter to be in 24 episode about Cold Angle or something like that. I, po I have the picture of it I posted on the screen. So yeah, like WB's just getting like a whole bunch of um, Cold Angle's friends and former colleagues together to like, I guess, talk about him. And they haven't mentioned anything about like, well, Cold Angle walked with Dixie yet, because we all know it's TNA. He walked, he walked in TNA from, I think, 2006 to 2016. So 10 years he walked there. I don't know if they're gonna like, mention anything about her walking for TNA on like, the actual broadcast. But it is kind of cool seeing like, how one of Vince McMahon's old rivals is like, gonna be on WWE television. Well, there's something kind of cool about that, so I really can't wait to check it out. Just look, just anything of Cold Angle just like is pretty interesting, so it should be a pretty good show. Okay, so the next story actually broke news yesterday as well, and it's that Austin Aries got released from the WWE. Like, they don't want good terms or whatever, but he just wasn't happy where he was in WWE because they put him in the cruiserweight division. He wasn't happy just only doing cruiserweight matches, which I can understand. I can see a whole bunch of other cruiserweight, like, people getting frustrated for being, like, only in the cruiserweight division where they can only wrestle probably, what, seven, eight, nine, ten guys or something like that. Now, don't get me wrong, it did help Neville's career a lot, but just only wrestling a couple of guys, like, you can't wrestle, like, the entire roster, that would get kind of boring and pretty frustrating. So, so yeah, he did get granted his release yesterday. I would expect to see him in something like ROH or New Japan, PWG, something like that pretty soon. A couple months to maybe towards the end of the year, I can see him going to something like that. I don't see him going back to TNA, so we can just get that out of the way. And then Austin actually hasn't been in WWE for that long. He signed with WWE in like January 2016 and actually made his NXT debut on March 2nd. So a couple months after he signed, he made his NXT debut and he did some pretty cool things in NXT and then he got, got brought up to the main roster and he suffered an eye injury. He was out for some time, got put on commentary and then WWE just got a wild hell up the butt to like put him like on commentary full time and then go from commentary to put him in the cruiserweight division which doesn't make any sense because the man's like an amazing wrestler he does not need to be limited to being in the cruiserweight division but I really really hope he goes to a company that's gonna like let him shine to his full potential and right after news broke well he like that he got released or whatever he did tweet out and say it's a beautiful day and then he tweeted out banana emojis since he has like a weird obsession with bananas okay so the next story actually like shook the whole wrestling world yesterday like it was all over twitter and everything it's that aj styles beat kevin owens for the united states championship at a house show yes a house show it was in madison square garden But it's pretty well you see like any kind of title changes at a house show. Like really well. I can only count maybe four or five times that I can actually think about when a title changed hands on a house show. So this past Tuesday, AJ Styles did win a number one contenders match to face Kevin Owens. Uh, I think it is Battlegrounds as the next SmackDown pay-per-view for the United States Championship, but I guess WWE just decided to have it at the house show and have him win since it was Madison Square Garden. So the NXT Championship did change hands twice at like live events last year. There hasn't really been a WWE like main roster title change at a house show since 2012. And that was when Primo and Epico defeated El Boom, I think it, I think that's what it was, uh, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne in Oakland, California for the Tag Team Championships. So the next story is that WWE is actually thinking about having a woman's um, Royal Rumble match, yes, a women's Royal Rumble match. I don't know if this would be like a match for like each brand. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping it's like one big win on like the men's matches. But this is just gonna be like a really, really good opportunity for a whole bunch of the women's wrestlers, especially since we're having the May Young Classic. I think towards the end of the month, maybe like in a couple of weeks. I just think it's a really, really good opportunity that WWE is doing this for the women. I've wanted a women's Royal Rumble match for a while now. 
So it's pretty really cool that WWE is finally doing it. So the last story I'm going to report on today is that WWE is doing a tag team tournament. Kind of like how they did the Cruiserweight Classics and the May and the, uh, the May Young Classic. They're doing a tag team classic. I don't know when this is going to be. I'm going to say around the start of 2018, maybe mid-2018. It's going to be similar to the Dusty Rhodes tag team classic that went in NXT in 2015. So there's, so there's no word on if like the the match will like have the exact same thing as the Dusty Rhodes classic. But it's just going to be pretty cool. I'm really hoping WWE brings like independent like independent tag teams in like maybe people from ROH, New Japan, PWG etc etc that would just be super super cool yeah hopefully WWE goes through with that idea and shines a spotlight on a whole bunch of like independent tag teams so I forgot to mention that this is not gonna be on Sundays every single week and this is and this is kinda gonna be like a weekly like a weekly video series I'm either gonna have it up on Mondays or Tuesdays every week, not on Sundays. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.